Okay, let me continue chapter 4 block diagrams and signal flow graphs. Okay, in this chapter we introduce block diagrams as uh, graphical alternatives for modeling control system and their underlying mathematics. What we need to block diagrams? Block diagrams are popular in the study of control system because they provide better understanding of the composition and interconnection of the components of a dynamic system. Uh, a sign, uh, what is the signal flow? Uh, signal flow graph may also be used as an alternative graphical representation of a control system model. Okay, uh, they are different from each other, and both of them satisfied to us a representation of a control system. Why we need to uh, this kind of representation? Uh, we can easily understand the composition and interconnection of the components of a dynamic system. Let's start from uh, block diagram 4.1 block diagrams. Block diagram modeling together with the transfer function models describe the cause and effect relation. Uh, it means input and output relationships throughout the system. Uh, for example, if we have this kind of system, in here we have a thermostat, error signal, and gas wall, furnace, we have some loss, heat loss, we want to control room, a room, and in the output of the system, we have actual room temperature, negative unity feedback here, or feedback. What is the input for this system? Desired room temperature. As you see here, this is the feedback of the system. Okay, let's think about this system. Uh, for this system, we need a desired room temperature, as you see, and if you want to control the room temperature, uh, we need to sense uh, all the output. Uh, for this system, of course, our output is the actual room temperature. Okay, so uh, with respect to the control theory, we can write this is output and this is input let me continue yes uh, the actual room temperature is output and is measured by a sensor assume that within the thermostat also this thermo thermostat uh, uh, have a comparator because all control system needs to comparator uh, between the uh, desired value, desired input, and the real value, measured value. So in the thermostat, we have also a comparator. Maybe we can write here, comparator and sensing to measure output value. Okay, uh, then the error signal from this point is Arrange the gas wall because uh, gas wall can be on or off. It can be heat or don't heat the system. Furnace also use the control this system. So both of these blocks can be evaluated as actuator for the control theory. What is the heat loss? For example, if you open the window in this room, some temperature will be lost, right? So this is the disturbances of the control theory. What about the room? Room is plant for us. Plant which is to be controlled uh, in the system. What we need to do for this system? We need to do at this point zero because in here we have an error signal. Desired room temperature between the 
actual room temperature. This is a kind of system, a simplified block diagram representation of a heating system. The block diagram can be used to model linear as well as nonlinear system, but for the nonlinear system, the block diagram variables are in time domain. In this lecture, as you know, we will talk about the linear system. And uh, for the linear system, the Laplace transform variables are used uh, in the blocks. Okay.